What is up everyone? I am Lucky13. Thank you for checking out this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about just the state of GTA 5 Online. And GTA Online, because I guess it's not really GTA 5 Online, it's GTA Online. Uh, possibly so they can, uh, they can come up with a further, you know, like a future title that's got Dash Online. All the while, I'm going to be playing this game. Um, I'm still stuck in, uh, and I'm going to get to it. I'm still, I'm still stuck in a no-person lobby. Look at this. I joined this, and it's public, but there's only one person in it, and that one person is me. And that really sucks because I'm not able to do some of the things that I really want to do in this game. And uh, I'm going to try to go get my car back from Impound. Well, my motorcycle from the police because uh, they have it from my shenanigans in a, a previous episode or a previous video. Uh, but we got to do what we always do. We got to get the heat on us or else it's not worth doing, right? If you don't have any heat, it's not worth doing. So uh, the first thing that I noticed is uh, obviously I'm still getting stuck in lobbies with nobody in them, which is super disappointing because that feels like that's part of GTA 5. Am I right? I mean, that's, that's part of GTA Online is to have a bunch of people that try to kill you no matter what you do. You can call them trolls. You can say that they're, you know, just trying to see the world burn or whatever. But uh, that's part of the game, I think, is is being able to do that. Now let's really up the ante here. That's how we do it. You want to up the ante, you got to put some bullets in some law enforcement. Unfortunately, there's no just get three stars cheat. If there was, I would do it. Um, but now we got to run. Um, but I, th I feel like that's part of part of the game is to just kind of have have your antagonists in in your lobby with you and I definitely think that the uh, the trolls as most people call them or just the other players would be considered antagonists in this game um, because they are the main point of contention in Grand Theft Auto Online uh, the other issue that I've been having recently is it doesn't seem to matter how far away I am from the police or the law enforcement the cops uh, the whatever the hell you want to call them uh, they're actually the Los Santos police, I guess. Uh, they, the, what are they, the LSPD. There you go, the LSPD. Uh, I can't seem to get my vehicle. Like, say, say I cause a little bit of crime and havoc right here, and then I leave my motorcycle there. I get, in, uh, I get in a different car, I get in somebody else's car, and I drive all the way across the map. I'm either captured, you know, I'm killed, I'm, I'm hunted down, I die on my own accord, yet I still seem to lose my vehicle. Uh, I think that's kind of uh, glitchy or sketchy or something because you would figure if your your vehicle didn't have anything to do with the crime or you are far away from your vehicle, they wouldn't know that it was your vehicle. But it still seems to end up impound and impound, and I still have to fight my way through a, a horde of officers to try to get it back, um, which is probably uh, enough hassle on its own. But you know me, I just I'm just gonna be uh, trying to start shit. That's that's how I do. That's the kind of game I play. And now my car has no no tires, so I'm just going to slide around like I'm on ice. Uh, something else that I've recently noticed is the connectivity issues. I will just be playing Grand Theft Auto Online, and the next thing I know, it says you've been returned to the main menu, or you've been returned to the GTA 5 story mode, because you've lost connection to the server. If I'm the only one in the damn lobby, if I'm the only one playing the game, how the hell have I lost connection to the server? Unless there's just a GTA 5 server or a GTA Online server that just hates me and every time I go to get online it decides it wants to kick me but typically after about 15 or 20 minutes even if I'm playing by myself I'll just get booted right from the lobby which is it's pretty uh, pretty frustrating if uh, if you guys could understand how that would feel that would feel like not quite getting to finish uh, finish a game of Call of Duty or not quite getting to finish a game of uh, uh, Battlefield or something along those lines I really feel like this might be the end of me right here I'm gonna try to jump this fence and I may get shot down. I actually survived. Ain't that something? Um, I'm trying to get to my motorcycle. My motorcycle is over here. Uh, no, it's on the other side, I guess. I'm trying to get to my motorcycle. I'm getting shot at. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this because now I'm gonna be stationary. And I got out. Look at that, motorcycle and all. Now the the whole thing is to get this thing back to the house in one piece still rocking the three stars which I mean it doesn't seem like it's that that crazy of a deal but whenever you go in and you only have uh, you only have a little sliver of red health left and it's a pretty big pretty big thing for me uh, I gotta go this way um, another thing I kind of wanted to talk about was uh, some of the packages I didn't know I maybe you guys would know maybe you guys as viewers would know uh, 
What's going on with the packages? Because I, I, I get updates all the time. I'm active on Twitter. You can find me at XXXLucky13, XXX. Uh, I'm active on Twitter. I see Rockstar's updates all the time that they're going to be dropping packages. And I'm never able to find one of these packages. Back on the Xbox 360, I found more than enough packages. But on the Xbox One, since I've flipped over, I don't see any packages. I, don't, I just don't see them. Um, I didn't know if it was maybe me or maybe they're not available in the, uh, the single-person lobbies. Or maybe there has to be more than one person, or maybe the more people you have in your lobby, the, the better of a chance there is you're going to get those packages. But uh, I was really looking for that uh, please stop me mask, because I couldn't, uh, I really, oh shoot. Um, I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to wear that mask because it's, it almost pays homage to one of my favorite games, Manhunt. I don't know if you guys ever played it, but it's a pretty badass game. It's on the PlayStation 2, I believe. Well, guys, that pretty much does it for my video today. If you enjoy my content, you enjoy my style, you like the way I do things, hit the subscribe button for future content. And until my next video, the next time you hear my voice, I'm out.